video editing is one of those things that a lot of people think is just too complex for them. And there are very complex video editing software tools. But some of them are pretty easy and basic. Screencastify has a great online, very basic editing tool. Uh, WeVideo has a really easy one to use as well. If you have a PC, you already have a free tool built right in. You don't even need to look any further. It does some very basic film editing, video editing, but it also has some cool effects that you can do. So I'm going to show you basically how to do that. The first thing you do want to do is have any of the videos that you want to work with already on your device. So just download them. I have a few here right here on my desktop. I just put them there to work with really quick. All you need to do is go to the bottom left where it says your search box and just type in the word video. You should get this app that comes up, Video Editor app. If for some reason you don't see that, if you type photos in and you open the Microsoft Photos app, there is a button to create a video project and that gets you to the same program. So you should be able to see it just by typing the word video in. Click on the Video Editor app. It'll open up. And yours will probably be blank. You haven't made any, but there is this button right here. It says new video project. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to load and it'll ask you to name your project. I'm going to name mine demo video project and then click the OK button. And what you're greeted with is the basic interface. It's very simple. It's very easy to use. So on this left hand side, you'll see all of the media that I have uploaded to my project. Well, right now you can see there's nothing there. I'm going to click the add button and I'm going to do it from this PC because that's where I've stored my videos. I put them on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and click all of those videos that I did and I'm going to hit the open button. And there they are. So there's the videos I get to work with. So here's the media that I can use. This is your preview pane. This is where you can kind of see your video and preview it and see what it's going to look like, like what the final copy would look like. Down at the bottom is my storyboard. And this is my working area. This is how I can reorder things, how I can add tools or add little special effects to it. But you need to start somewhere. So I'm going to go up to my media up here and these are basically the sequence. So I'm going to take the, the video I want first. I'm going to use this little newscast thing. I'm going to click and drag it, and I'm going to put it right in the very beginning. So that's going to be my first video. So we're going to have this newscast, and then we're going to talk about maybe the beach. I'll drag that to my second sequence. And we'll go from the beach to maybe the woods. And maybe we'll end by flying out into space. So the cool thing is it does nothing's permanent. I can reorder these however I want. So it's really easy. Just click and drag, reorder them however you want. Like maybe I wanted to add the fall in there too. So I can put that in. So there's my video. Now, if that's all I needed to do, put a couple videos together, I'm done and I can move on. There are a lot of other things you can still do. So a lot of times you want to start your video with something at the beginning, like a title card. If I go down here to this bottom section and I click on any one of my videos, you can see this line gets put right underneath the video. That's the clip that I'm working on. I can add a title card. So if I click add a title card, it pops it right in front. Now right now it's pretty boring and pretty blue. If I just click on that and I go over here to where it says text, it's going to give me some options of what I want. So here's my style and I'm going to choose this joy button and each one of these has a different theme. So if I clicked on the simple button, you'll see the background changes. So each one of them is a little different. I also have a change in layout so I can choose the whole screen like that. I can put the title up at the top, on the side, maybe smaller in the middle, at the bottom, maybe on the right. I have those choices. So I'm going to leave it full screen. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say demo video. And if I like that, everything's good. I can trim it off a little if I want. I can make it three seconds. I can make it shorter. I'm going to leave it at three seconds. I think that's fine. I'm going to hit the Done button. So now it's got up there 
it looks like a blue tile, but if I go up to my preview up here and I just hit the play button, there's my little video, my little title slide. There's my first video, and I can fast forward this. There's my second, and you can see this blue line down here at the bottom. As I move across, it shows which clip I'm on. So that's great. I think it's just fine. My title slide is great. I'm going to go to this newscast, and it's 40 seconds long. It's longer than I want it to be. I really only want this newscast to be, let's say, 20 seconds long. 40 seconds is just too long. If I click on it and I go to the trim button right here and I click the trim, it'll bring up my little interface and this is the beginning of the video and this is the end. The little ball and stick is just your play um, spot. That's right where you're at. So I want to take maybe 10 seconds off the front. So I'm going to take 10 seconds off the front. So I just jump to about the 10 second mark. There we go. And I want to take 10 seconds off the back too. So here's the beginning of my video. Here's the back. I'm going to slide this over to maybe right about here. And let's just say this is what I want my whole video to be. That's as long as I want it. So what I just did is took part of the beginning and part of the end off. I've trimmed the edges off. I can click the done button. And now that video is only 18 seconds. It's no longer 40. So I've able, I was able to shorten it. Maybe on this video of the beach, I want to kind of cut it. So I want it to become two videos. So I can click the split button. And this just says, where exactly do you want to split it at? Well, I'm going to split it right here in the middle. And when I hit done, now I just cut that one video into two videos. And sometimes you'll want to do that if you want to play a video for a little while, and then right in the middle of it, maybe you wanted a title card to come back up. So I'm going to add a title card, add my text, and maybe this is going to be adventure, and I'm just going to say the beach. Hit done, and now it just put that right in there. So if I click here and go to the play button, I'm going to play my one minute. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit. So it's playing this clip right here, and then it's going to jump to that title card for three seconds, because that's what I chose, and then right back to the next one. So splitting would allow you to put things in the middle of a video. So I can keep going a little bit, and maybe I'm going to go to, I'm going to slide this over a little bit, because I have a lot of cards here. I can add text anywhere in a video, too. So let's say you're looking at this wonderful scenery, and you wanted to add a word in. So I make sure the line is underneath the video clip that I want to work with. I add the text button up here. And this time I'm just going to say classic. I'm going to say leaves. And once again, I can choose how I, where I want it, what I want it to look like. I liked it right there in the middle. I'm going to hit the done. Maybe I only want this for that duration, two seconds. Hit the done button. And now right in the middle of that, I've got the word leaves coming up so I can add text to things. Motion is kind of that Ken Burns effect where it slowly zooms in. So if I went to a, if I went over to this and I chose motion and I'm going to zoom over to the left, you can see, and it's kind of hard to tell, but this box is slowly moving over. What it's doing is it's slowly panning over. This is very subtle, but it does give a lot of your videos more of a finished look to them. You can also add 3D effects. So I've got this right now, this um, flying through space thing. But if I wanted to add a 3D effect to it, these are the ones that are already installed. I could add this atomic motion and throw it right here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it better. And then we'll play it. So it kind of throws that little effect right on there. There's a, quite a few of them you can choose from. Your filters are basically just like photos and things like that. You can change the tone of your video. So maybe you wanted it black and white. It kind of sets the mood for things or maybe pixelated. So maybe I wanted this one black and white. I'll hit done. 
that just changes the color themes. And then you've also got speed. And what that allows you to do is speed up the clip or slow it down. So for an example, this one plays at this speed. You can see how those stars are kind of coming at us. If I click the speed button and I put it to fast, four times the speed, you can see how much faster that is. You can also, same thing, maybe I want to slow it way down and make it slow motion. Look at how slow that is. So you can adjust. Now I made that super slow. Maybe I shouldn't have gone quite that slow. Just got to let it finish loading. That'll be a little better. So that adjusts the speed that it plays. So I've done all these effects, and you can play around with those a little bit. You can even rotate um, your video 90 degrees every click. So sometimes you have a recorded, recorded video with your phone that you recorded the wrong way. It's vertical instead of horizontal. You can rotate it very easily. So that's all the visual things, which makes it really, really simple to add some of these things. So you can look like a professional filmographer just by clicking some of these buttons. You can also add in music to clips. So maybe I wanted to go all the way back to this newscast at the beginning, and I wanted some background. Click the background music. These are all the things that are already built in. So I'm going to just choose Digital Horizon. I can hit the Done button, and now that is added into my video. So now I'm playing it. You can also add your own. So if you click Custom Audio, you can upload your own audio files in. So you're not just locked into what Microsoft has there. So I was able to add in some effects, some title cards, slow things down, change some um, filters on some of my videos, and really just make it kind of what I wanted to be my own. When you're done, you can preview the whole video by kicking, clicking play. Now right now this is a 49 minute video, so it's long. Maybe yours obviously would probably be shorter, like this is a 40 minute clip. Well, remember if I wanted to trim it, or 40 seconds. I can make that significantly shorter and just say done. And now my whole video is only 18 minutes long. So here's another one. I can, I can shorten them as much as I want. So I can clip it, trim it. Let's make all these a little bit shorter just so that my finalizing is a lot shorter. That's a minute. That's two. That's one. This is still nine minutes. So let's just go ahead and Trim that some more. We're just going to make that like two minutes long. So now all I did is made my video a lot shorter. Definitely don't need this one that long just for a um, demo. So let's shorten that puppy up. All right, eight minutes, I can do that. So all I have to do now is when I'm done, I can hit the play button, I can preview it, go up to the finish video button click finish, choose your resolution. Now I would always recommend always picking the highest resolution. You'll always regret not going high enough. And all I have to do is click the export button. It's going to take some time. It's going to export that to, and I'm going to tell it to save it to my desktop. That's just how I function. I save everything to my desktop. And it's going to take a few minutes to export that as a playable video. Now, once it's on my desktop and it's done exporting, that's where you get to choose, do I upload it to YouTube? Do I put it in my Google Drive? How am I going to share this with others? So all you're gonna get is a video file that's playable anywhere. How you choose to share it is entirely up to you. But using some pretty basic tools, you can put images in, you can do cool effects to it. You can do a slideshow with all of your students by putting all of their pictures in some kind of sequence. So it doesn't just have to be videos. You can put pictures in that um, storyboard at the bottom and you could have all of your students in a slideshow if you wanted. There's a million things you can do with this. Very basic, very easy with a little bit of flash.